investigating a possible hate crime. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Shade Better and Ma. Police in Brooklyn tonight want to know who set fire to at least 11 religious items as they hung outside people's homes. It happened in the predominantly Jewish neighborhood of Williamsburg on, perhaps not coincidentally, Holocaust Remembrance Day. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is in Williamsburg with our lead story. Lucy? Well, Sade and Bill, 11 mezuzahs destroyed. And for what? Mezuzahs are sacred parchments. Many Jews hang on their door for long life and protection. One could argue the mezuzahs did their job today when they were set on fire. None of the homes burned, no one injured. But now there is burning anger to find the arsonist. The stench of burnt mezuzahs and door frames was far worse on the heart than on the nose as 11 families found their beautiful religious symbols torched. Very worried and I feel scared. Frightened victims speaking to us from behind their doors, behind the crime scene. It seemed very vicious to do this. They're aiming at Jewish houses. The arson attacks took place at 85 Taylor Street in Williamsburg at the Taylor Wythe Public Houses. Mezuzahs on the third to twelfth floors set ablaze. It was a, a brazen act of religious desecration um, and is something that is shocking to everybody in this community. We're told it happened late this afternoon when families were busy going in and out of the building. It also happened on the day when Jews remember the six million of their own killed during the Holocaust. I was one year in Germany in a concentration camp, six-year-old, a little boy. This 61-year-old Holocaust survivor does not believe there's a connection. He thinks it's more an act of sick vandalism than a statement on the Holocaust. Either way, the Hate Crimes Task Force is now investigating. We're living in a world where we have to respect one each other. Now, one victim told me that several years ago, vandals took the mezuzahs right off the door frame, but this burning them hurts a lot more. We're live in Brooklyn tonight, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Lucy.